Disturbing Roblox games that got banned. So there's a lot of weird Roblox games out there. Some that even contain popular YouTubers locations. Oh, I've been to a game that showed my home address. I on like a tombstone looking thing. Couldn't air that video. There's even some Roblox games that could get your accounts banned. And then some that are just plain weird that they had to get banned. I'm going to take a look at some of the weirdest and disturbing games that got banned by Roblox. Let's begin. I need your help. All right, what's my up? My Roblox torture game was banned six times for being too banned extreme. Banned six times. This is the <laughs> Russian okay. sleep experiment. Oh. And I am the original creator trying to create a fun game for you guys to play. Inject crazy viruses into subjects and watch them go insane. Oh. Play today. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I know these types of games exist. There's like multiple different types. There's the Russian sleep experiment, and then there's this one right here as well. Roblox banned my game for the fifth time because it's too violent. So I added even more to it. Okay. The game What'd is called add? the viral experiment. Yeah. In this yeah. game, <laughs> you give patients viruses and see how their bodies react to them. We made a brand new map. Added multiple new viruses, including a JoJo virus. Yeah, I wonder why it got banned, huh? <laughs> so let's see, if I just type in the Russian sleep experiment, yeah, I think this is a game, right? Let's uh, let's check it out and see if this game is actually for nine-year-olds. All right, so this is the game. So there's this person right here that's burning up a random corpse. That's nice, that's nice. Remember, this game is for nine-year-olds. Uh, I guess everybody gets their own different cells and you can experiment with them. This guy doesn't look too good. What's going on here with David? Yeah, uh, this guy, I think he's seen better days. Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I know Roblox doesn't like games when they contain syringes. The Brookhaven game even has a description here that says, Both syringe tools have been removed from game for not complying with Roblox terms of service. So, uh, yeah, I could see why that game got bad. It also because it's, like, pretty torturous. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, no wonder these games keep getting banned. I mean, like, this one right here is labeled for all ages. Suitable for everyone. <laughs> yeah, let's just, uh, let's just check it out then. Oh, it's Grimace. <laughs> he's being, uh, he's being tortured. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? I uh, I didn't see anything. But yeah, a lot of these games are kind of inspired off of like the Russian sleep experiment, which is like a creepy pasta about five test subjects who are experimented on and not being able to sleep. And then this is a popular image of one of these supposed test subjects, which I've already debunked. But uh, yeah, let's look at some more banned games. Let's talk about Crosswoods. Crosswoods, Crosswoods yeah. Roblox that can get you instant live in when you join the experience. One Twitch streamer named Clark T1000 Oh, is this the kid that got banned? All right, yeah, so here's a kid right here. So he's joined the game, and then, yeah, he got kicked. And then, yeah, that's his account getting banned. Actually, no, just deleted. Oh, did you hack my account? Oh, man. And then he logs back into the account, and then it says that the account is still deleted. So yeah, the game Crosswoods, I've talked about it multiple times, and different versions of the games have popped up over the years. Like, there's this one right here where this live streamer was told to type in different letters to start the game, and in typing in those letters, he spelled something inappropriate, which got him banned by Roblox. So then, yeah, right here it says that the same account launched experience from different device. And then he gets logged out, and then he gets hit with a ban for one day for a pretty drastic term that he didn't even know that he said. And most recently, a lot of people are saying that this game made a return again. Like, literally two weeks ago. So a person by the name of Crazy Games made this tweet that said, do not play this game, it'll get your account deleted. And it's this game here called The Heist Burglary. So here's an example of someone who's playing the game, and to pretty much start it, you have to copy and paste something. And I think in doing that, the game is able to somehow either delete your account or get you banned. So yeah, right here it says, listen kid, go to Mickluck's profile and add me from there. Stop joining, kid. And then you're forced to quit the game, and then you're hit with the account deleted. There's another game called The Adventure Revenge. Also, shout out to Alpha Kitsune for recording all this. And yeah, this live streamer joins this game and then yeah, gets disconnected and gets their account deleted as well for child endangerment, something that they didn't even do. Now, Creecraft did a video about this game and when he tried to join it, it was just like the basic vanilla game where nothing really happened. So a lot of people are saying this is either fake or that the creator deleted the game so he could avoid getting banned. And yeah, he did avoid getting banned for quite a while actually. But then I looked up his account just now and it looks like he finally did get banned, which means this could 
could actually be real. I mean, here's also another video of people joining his game. I mean, you can actually see up there in the top right where the creator's in there. And he's making people say a lot of inappropriate words. And then it says, player has been removed from the data model. So yeah, I think all those people were just banned. Pretty creepy that this is still happening. And the most creepiest part about all this is that before he got banned, Mick Look actually changed his description to say, we will always be back. Smiley face. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Apparently he has a lot of different accounts. But let's keep looking at more banned Roblox games. Roblox games that used to be popular, but unfortunately got banned. All right, what do we got here? Y'all remember Shadow Simulator? No. This game blew up in two <laughs> weeks or in just a year because of how many things were in it. Yo, I actually remember the VIP, the pool, and taking a shower. Wait, a what? lot of creators <laughs> love this game so much, and we all loved it. A now, lot Robo of creators to love this game? And banned this game because it was too explicit, and they didn't like the moderation. Pokemon Break Bronze. Wait, hold on. I want to find out more information about Shower Simulator. Riz Jaden explain. Shower Simulator. Okay. This game is extremely popular with millions of views, but it was eventually yeah, deleted yeah. in 2017 by Roblox okay, himself. Why was Roblox it deleted? deleted this game because it was way too explicit, and they were not yeah, able to properly moderate sense. the entire game. There was even exploits in the game itself where people were able to become completely new. Especially since it was a shower simulator, it was bound to get removed. I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Let me see. I wanted to find out more information about Shower Simulator. Found this Reddit post. Does anyone remember the shower simulator games back in the good old days roblox will have shower simulator games that take off and people love them but roblox had to take them down due to many people doing inappropriate stuff in those games them good old days what shower simulator games and he said there's a lot of content creators that played this let's see who are these youtubers that were playing it <laughs> Dennis. <laughs> um, excuse me if you could just, I'm, I'm trying to have a shower right now and I really appreciate it. Do these shower games exist? Shower simulator. No, no results found. Yeah, it's just blacklisted now. Okay, how about this? How about just shower? Do these shower games still exist? Soul bathroom simulator, 1000. <laughs> I think a lot of these games are now disguised as like bathroom type games. Let's see, role play. Oh, this person has handcuffs. <laughs> that's uh, yeah, that's fine. All right. What is this? Oh no, I got a badge. Now people are gonna suss me out. Oh, okay. I feel dirty for being in here. <laughs> Ow. Get me out of here. Ah! Ow. Oh. Oh, this is just the simple demonic ritual going on right here. That's fine. That's fine. I hope nobody recognizes me in this game. Flush. Uh-oh. I'm a fake flush. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Let's see. They have a shop here. What can I get? I can get a toilet plunger, an axe. That's fine. A dog. Okay. Uh, oh, I could get guns. I just want to drink my grimace shake alone. Oh, what is that? Huh? Yeah, what's up, bro? I'm just hanging out in the showers. You're just doing push-ups in the shower. All right, close the curtains, please. I need my privacy. Oh, no. Someone's trying to get in. <laughs> Go away, please. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is this thing? Stop. Go. Go away. Why is there jump scares in here? All right. I'm not going to lie. The best part about this shower simulator game is the band right here. Look at Billy go. Go, Billy, go. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.